Now you have a lot of nice search results for your next hiking or cycling trip. You are just three button clicks away to save it into your Komoot profile. Just hit the name, click save, and then got it. And we can have a look at your profile. And voila, here is your new planet hiking tour. But there are some tours you haven't expected you cannot save like this one but you can and in a few seconds i will show you how you can store tours like this my name is thomas from the Bergbar channel stay tuned and here we go again remember most tours are just three button clicks away to save just hit the name click save and then got it or if you're into the into the details here's also a save button to save the tour into your profile and tours without roads without passes without trails you cannot save it this way because the Komoot engine cannot route cannot plan the tour when there are no roads, no passes or trails. And then you have at first uh, export the GPX file and then click this button, store it in your preferred folder and then switch to the import option. And then do not use import to plan a route. Remember, it cannot route without roads, passes or trails. Just import this activity record. Click import, choose the export file and then open and you can see here is the track. And you can change your activity, you can change the name, you cha can change the date or from private mode to non-private mode. Um, to to walk with this uh, uh, with this track I prefer private mode import activity and then this track is into your profile but not as planet this as uh, stored as a uh, recorded or completed tour and here comes the big difference between completed and planet tours if you open your Komoot application on the mobile phone or on a tablet and then you have to open completed tours and then choose your tour and there is no navigation button you have to check your position manually just look where you are where your position is on the track and you have to check it sometimes are you still in touch with the track you get no support by voice navigation or by navigation from the Komoot engine. You have to check your position on the track uh, manually. You can record a new track, but you have no navigation support. Don't be scared by this kind of navigation. I use this uh, sometimes when I have uh, some tours outside of, of Komoot roads, Komoot paths or, or trails and it's easy to use, believe me. And now get out and enjoy your first Komoot adventure and please share it with other people. And if you feel this video was helpful, please give me a like, much better, at the Hearts of Backward channel to your favorite channels. And if you got some question, feel free to ask. If you have a feedback, I would happy to read about it. And see you next time when we start a first self-made planet Komoot tour. Goodbye. Next, see you next time, Thomas.